Hi, Gemini. Welcome to the channel. This is going to be your mid-June reading. So it's going to go from today until the end of the month. Uh, it is going to be general. It's not going to resonate with everyone. So please keep that in mind. Um, I'm going to be using mainly tarot today. I am going to pull from a few oracle cards just to see what the overall energy is and get a little guidance from your spirit team. And then we'll go into the tarot. And it is going to be a free form reading, you guys. I'm not going to use um, a spread or anything like that. Um, just a quick announcement, you guys. Um, I did start a new channel on YouTube. It is called Authentically You Spiritual Life Coaching. It is featured on this channel, so you can find it quite easily. But I'll also leave a link in the pinned comment down below. Um, and today I just uploaded a new video and it is secrets to living an authentic life. So if you're interested in that, please check it out and like, share, and subscribe if you resonate with the con uh, content. Um, I've talked about how I'm moving to a coaching model. Um, so I have information down below if you're interested in that. A lot of my YouTube viewers are signing up for coaching, which is really exciting. I do have a special um, for YouTube viewers and you can receive $100 off um, any, co any of my coaching programs. So that information again is going to be down below. And if you'd like to book a spiritual guidance session or a tarot with me, um, I'm also offering you guys 20% off and the details are down below on that as well. Okay, Gemini. So let's see what the overall energy is for you. We're just coming off that beautiful strawberry super moon, you guys. So it's, um, I don't know about you, but I've been a little bit exhausted and not sleeping that well, which is pretty normal when we've got such a powerful moon that we're dealing with. It was the full moon in Sagittarius. So you could be feeling like you're releasing a lot of things at this time. Ooh, we've got a waxing moon energy and it is action. This is gorgeous. I wish you guys could see this in person. This is from I always forget the name of this. Um, it's the Queen of the Moon Oracle. How can I forget that? So what I'm feeling, Gemini, is that the remainder of June is going to be a really important time for you to start taking action on whatever it is you're wanting to create in your life. Um, I do want to just read from the guidebook. Um, this is a number 15, which reduces to a six. And if we relate that to the tarot, it's about moving on. It is about movement. Okay. It's also about stability. So it's about balancing things out. So the way forward for you is to take action and then you're going to find more balance in your life is what's really coming through for me. The time has come to take action. Let go of your paralysis. Let go of your burden step by step. The affirmation for this is I am responsive and ready to take action. Um, sometimes we are afraid to move forward. This is natural. Change can be difficult. And if we have been hurt or failed before, we are anxious about what may happen if we instigate change. Maybe we think it's easier and safer to just tread some water for a while. Um, this moon phase encourages us to embrace action. We are not made to hide and refuse to blossom. So this is about coming out of the darkness and blossoming and action is going to get you there. So let's see what the guidance is from your spirit team. Ooh, we've got El Moria. El 
El Moria. I don't know why that's so hard for me to say, you guys. Um, this is Awakening Presence. This is a beautiful, beautiful energy, beautiful card. The illustration is gorgeous. The colors, everything about it. What this says is the universe is with you. Wear a cloak of protection and love. Um, so this is just your guides letting you know that they are on your side and they want to help you manifest and create whatever it is you want to go for at this time so this is beautiful um, it's almost like with this awakening presence it's almost like you are going to become more of yourself than ever before it's it's about moving into your own power realizing your own power it really is about self-realization and then we've got um, Sanat Kumara and this is light activation so this is such powerful energy with awakening presence right next to this light activation. This says shine your light. Your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear. So I feel like you have some ideas of, of what you're wanting to create in your life. And it's just a matter of listening to yourself. And Gemini, you guys, I have a lot of Gemini clients. And, you know, you guys are um, so fun and so interesting, but this, you know, your mind can really get in your way sometimes because it's all about these thoughts that you have and that can really um, not turn off, but it can really kind of um, dampen our intuition in a way. And so what I'm feeling is it's about clearing those thoughts out, um, really, yeah, just clearing the chatter, quieting the mind so that your intuition can come forth because I feel like your intuition is hidden right now. Um, and so the messages are not coming through. It's not clear. It's all about what's in your mind. So there does need to be a little bit of balance between your mind and your intuition. One more message from your guides, and then we're going to get into the tarot. Ooh, Alpha Dragon. I love it. Um, harness the divine masculine power of creation. I love this. It says, destroy the old, visualize your dream, help to manifest a new world. So I really feel like... Um, there is something that you are wanting to release, um, especially uh, with this full moon. There's something that isn't benefiting you anymore. So it's about letting go of that. It could be a mindset that's been holding you back. Um, I work with a lot of my private clients on this. We all have these stories that we tell ourselves, this conditioning, um, you know, from our parents, from society. And so I really do feel like this is kind of a mindset that's been holding you back. It's time to let that go, reframe things, um, focus on your dream so that you can really manifest what you are wanting to create. And this is so powerful with this action card because it's referencing the divine masculine energy, which is all about taking action, being very logically minded and taking action toward our goals. Um, we can daydream all we want, but it isn't until we have a plan and then we start taking steps that we will realize some of our dreams. Um, so I love this. And you guys, we all have the masculine and feminine energies within us. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. Um, it is important to balance because you know, the masculine, if we think about the masculine, it's all about doing. And the feminine is all about receiving. And, it, you know, we it's important to receive and it's important to take action. And so it's really about discerning the appropriate time to kind of sit back and let things come to us and the appropriate time to really get going and take action toward our goals. 
So let's take a look at the tarot. I'm going to be pulling um, several cards from a few different decks and see how the messages just all come together. So what do we need to know for Gemini? What do we need to know? Ooh, wow, powerful. Very, very powerful energies. We've got the judgment card. And this, I love this. This is the spiritual awakening card. Um, so this is about doing things differently. This is about examining your life and the choices that you've made. Um, it is a wake up call. Are you going to keep doing things the, diff the same way? Uh, if, if you choose to do that, then you're going to see the same results. So this is about choosing to walk a different path and really so that you can see a different result. And you guys, I have to take a sip of water. The judgment card is also about redemption. It's like you can change your life. You can redeem yourself. If you made poor choices in the past, you don't have to continue doing that. And so I just feel that, you know, with these powerful eclipses um, that are happening this year in Taurus and Scorpio, it's a very transformative energy. And I feel like you are going to be stepping into bigger shoes and just deciding that, you know, I'm going to go for what I want. Um, fear holds us back from doing a lot of things, you guys. And I feel like you're just going to find the inner strength, the courage to move forward and go for it. So beautiful energy. We've got this nine of cups coming through right after judgment. And this is about wish fulfillment. This is about making those, you know, with it next to judgment, this is about making those wise decisions that lead to wishes coming true. It's all revolves around taking the right action and really, you know, going for what you want and not letting the fear stop you. And then next to the Nine of Cups, we've got the King of Swords. Uh, so I feel like you're going to be finding a lot of clarity in the coming weeks um, and months as well. And there is going to be a leveling up because we do have this awakening presence. And so I just feel like you are really going to be stepping into your power. This could be happening rather quickly, like in the month of June, you guys, moving into July. Um, it's really about being the master of your domain, owning um, your own life, owning the fact that, you know, you are responsible for creating your own existence. It is about the choices we make. I cannot stress that enough. Um, it's about releasing any sort of victim mentality. We all have it, you know, at times throughout our lives and not blaming outside forces, not making excuses, just really stepping up and saying, well, that happened in the past, but that does not mean that it's going to happen in the future. And I've learned my lessons. And I, I do feel like there's a lot of lessons that you've been learning, a lot of spiritual lessons. And they may have been very difficult, um, very painful even, but you're learning. And it's like, nope, I'm not going to repeat that again. Um, I didn't like that result. So I'm going to change it up. I'm going to do things differently and see how it works out this time. It's like, I don't know. You are moving into a time where your personal power is really increased. Increasing. And people are going to notice. Um, it's, you know, there's, there's this quote that I shared on my Instagram. It is one life, just one life that we have. Why aren't we running on like we're on fire toward our wildest dreams? And I feel like this is your energy, that you're going to start running like you're on fire toward your wildest dreams. That That's really the message that I'm getting for you, Gemini, and that's incredible. 
not a lot of people have the courage to do that. What else is coming through for Gemini? What do we need to know for Gemini? Ooh, we've got the Four of Wands, the Two of Wands. Very spiritual energy. Um, the Four of Wands. Um, this is about a celebration and abundant rewards for hard work. Release yourself from burdensome situations. And this is coming in directly under the judgment card, you guys. So I do feel like you are um, walking away from those things that don't serve you. And you guys, I did hear this quote that I loved. I shared it with a client the other day um, because she was feeling very, very frustrated. And it is, um, you know, if you're pounding on a door and it doesn't open, just turn around. Just turn around because behind you, there's probably several doors that are open. So quit pounding on the door that's not opening. There's another way. There's another opportunity. Um, and so this is something that I feel very, very strongly for you. So in the month of June and just, I feel like the rest of this year, uh, the energy is really going to gain momentum for you. There's going to be a lot to celebrate. And um, it's going to be important for you to really give yourself a pat on the back and celebrate your successes, no matter how small they are, no matter how insignificant they may seem. It is step by step. It's like, you know, how do you climb a mountain? One step at a time. And I really want you to take this to heart and really acknowledge the progress that you're making along the way. You know, when we look at celebrities or, um, you know, professional sports players, I've talked about this before on the channel, you, you know, we have the attitude sometimes of, wow, they were an overnight sensation. Well, it isn't until we dig into their story a little bit deeper to find out that, you know, they were basically invisible for like 10 years. And then, yes, all of a sudden, they had, had a lot of recognition and success, but they were toiling away toward their goal for years. So it may seem like others have, um, have it easier or they have instant success. And some people do, you know, that's just the way it is. Um, but most people don't have instantaneous success. So it's step by step. I cannot stress that enough. Um, with the two of wands coming through next to the four of wands, um, this is also a, a card about, you know, making choices. And in the traditional depiction of the two of wands, it's a man and he's standing with a staff in front of him and a staff in back of him. And it's almost like leaving something beside behind him and moving towards the future, um, making, you know, perhaps some sacrifices or some difficult decisions to leave people and places behind, but he knows what is for his highest and best good. And he's on a journey and he is determined to progress. Um, so this says, make bold and ambitious choices Great progress is possible. Important relationships with people who share your vision. So I feel that um, the, the more courage that you have, the bolder that you are, you are really going to start magnetizing your tribe to you. Um, these people are going to be able to support you, encourage you, help you on your journey. Um, and whatever your journey is. And you are going to have so much to celebrate. There's such happy energy here with the Four of Wands and the Nine of Cups coming through. I'm, I'm feeling, you know, very unstoppable energy, um, very determined energy coming through. And then we've got the Knight of Raphael, which is the Knight of Cups. This is beautiful. Um, 
romantic, dramatic, poetic, introspective. This is committed romantic relationships, being swept off your feet, situations or topics that make your heart flutter. Um, for some of you, I do feel that, um, you know, if this is you choosing to leave a relationship behind you and in search of something um, healthier, more meaningful, more fulfilling, that you are going to find it. Um, there is this um, meme that I, I shared with a client, and it is a photo of a man who is depicted as God. And this little girl he's kneeling down and this little girl is holding on to this small little teddy bear and he's holding a huge brand new teddy bear behind his back and he's has his hand out to take her teddy bear and she's clinging to it and it just says trust me and this is really what I'm feeling for you. It's about trusting that there's something better in your near future. So whatever it is that um, you are going to be releasing and leaving behind, just know that there is something better for you. Um, I may want to get... No, I'm not. I was going to clarify that uh, Knight of Cups, but I'm not going to. This is interesting. So this is this is introspective. You know, the cups is about intuition. Um, it's really about being centered in your heart space. It's about emotions. And it is coming in under the king of swords. And I mentioned earlier that it's going to be important for you to balance your intuition and your intellectual mind. And with the knight of cups coming in under the King of Swords, I do feel like you're going to be successful at that. Wow. Okay. So we've got the Ten of Swords coming through. And um, this is under the um, Four of Wands and the Judgment card. So this is about a painful ending to a situation. And with Judgment, that is about an end. The Alpha Dragon reference destroying the old. Um, so you are completing uh, what may be a very, very painful cycle. You perhaps could have been struggling. You could have been betrayed by someone. Someone, um, just a lot of difficulty, um, perhaps a lot of mental difficulty, and I don't mean like mental illness or anything like that, but um, your thoughts um, have been really interfering with your happiness, your joy. Um, they, your thoughts have kept you trapped, um, you know, in a prison, and you've been a unable to find the clarity, clarity that you needed to move forward and make a decision. And that is that is going away, you guys, because we've got the two of wands again. So this is a super important message. Um, and this is the, the depiction that I was talking about. So he's all ready to move into the future. He's moving away from these ten swords. He's moving away from this situation that has completely depleted him mentally. It's physically exhausted him. And he's decided that he's not going to stay in that place anymore. He's going to make bold decisions. He's moving into the future. And then we've got the Princess of Cups. This is... Um, the uh, page of cups, you guys. And so I always read the pages as um, like a new chapter that is coming in. Yes, it could be about communication. Um, it could be somebody coming into your life for sure. But I always see it as a new chapter. And the way I often read this card, because there's a fish coming out of the cup, um, I often read this card as 
by making these bold choices, stepping out of your comfort zone, moving forward, taking action, um, you may feel a little like a fish out of water. You may feel uncomfortable at first. We always feel uncomfortable when we step into the unknown. But the more that we do it, the more that we stretch ourselves, the more that we grow. And then it just gets easier and easier. So overall, really amazing energy, Gemini. I want to take a look at work your light and see um, what the final guidance is for you. What is the final guidance for Gemini? What is the final guidance for Gemini? Oh, we've got two cards. Okay, yeah, exactly. We've got the High Priestess, you guys. I love this because this is just stating everything I already stated. Um, how are you being called to step up and lead? So think about that. Um, I do feel this very strongly that you are being called to step up and lead, step into those bigger shoes, make bolder choices. This has come through again and again. And then we've got break the chain, and this is exactly what I've been feeling. This is about ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. So those two cards just summed up the entire reading. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, please like, share, subscribe. And of course, I love to hear your comments. Thank you for joining me today. And just know that I'm sending you lots of love. Bye-bye.